back at Chasselton House and back to its best. This painting of Pope Gregory was commissioned around the time of the gunpowder plot and it's been part of a collection that's been kept at the National Trust property pretty much ever since. But over time, the paintings lost their shine and for many years they were kept in the shadows. As we looked closer and we saw how interesting they were both sort of historically and in terms of their kind of their construction, we were able to um, uh, look more deeply into them and we were able to find that actually they are um, the only surviving set of this subject matter um, in the country um, and these in this portrait style. Um, so they're, they're really fascinating and quite rare. But also in poor condition. It's taken five years of restoration work to revive them. The colours are much brighter. Um, previously, they, they had a layer of varnish on, which had got discoloured over time, and people had also um, done some in paintings as, over the years as well, which haven't been executed very well. So all of that's been cleaned off, um, and you can see the image and the, the colours much more clearly now. And there's a twist in the story of the collection at Chasselton House. Another painting in the set was referenced in a magazine a hundred years ago. Beyond then, its whereabouts is a mystery. If it's out there in a private collection somehow, perhaps it was sold by the family members, we're not sure, then it would be amazing if we could find out from those people who recognise this kind of painting and the portrait set to be similar to something they've got, uh, if people got in touch. For now, three of the four so-called Fathers of the Church will be part of a display at Chasselton House until October. Jeremy Stern, BBC South Today.